Hey, it's Jennifer with Pigskins and Pigtails. Are you interested in screen printing with vinyl and curious to know how to print multicolor designs? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process. I teamed up with Speedball to create this deluxe screen printing with vinyl kit. It even has my daughters on the front. This is our second kit together. Our first kit included the supplies for one color printing. This deluxe version includes additional supplies so you can do multicolor projects like this. It also includes a starter guide to mixing your own screen printing ink. If you have a vinyl cutter of any brand, you can use it along with this kit to create amazing quality shirts in multiple colors. Let's take a look at the supplies inside the kit. In this kit, you will get two different types of squeegees, four different speedball fabric ink jars of blue, red, yellow, and white, some cups for mixing ink, two screen printing frames, syringes to measure your ink, craft sticks, adhesive vinyl, transfer tape and parchment paper. You'll also get these detailed step-by-step -step instructions that I wrote with the recipes for mixing ink. Inside this instruction booklet, you will find a QR code to scan in order to download the free Choose to Shine SVG so you can follow along. Using your vinyl cutting machine, cut both pieces of the design on two sheets of the gray vinyl. In your program, make sure you choose the option to mirror the cut. Once your vinyl has been cut, you're going to weed the parts of the design where you want the ink to go through the screen. This is opposite of how you would weed heat transfer vinyl. Weed both pieces of your vinyl and make sure to weed those little squares in the corner of your design too. These are our registration boxes and they're going to help us line up the screen during the next steps. Grab a piece of transfer tape included in the kit. It has a backing paper on it so you'll want to flip it over and peel the backing paper off at an angle. Place the sticky tape on top of your weeded vinyl. Use the squeegee to smooth the tape on the vinyl and smooth out any bubbles or wrinkles. Now we're going to remove the backing paper from the vinyl, revealing the sticky side of that vinyl. Grab one of your screen printing frames and flip it over. Place the sticky vinyl on the back of your screen printing frame just like this. Using the squeegee tool again, smooth the vinyl to make sure it's pressed onto the screen. Now we can peel that transfer tape off. I like going slow and at a sharp angle. If any of your vinyl starts to come up, just press it back down and peel the tape back again. We can reuse this piece of transfer tape to repeat the process with a second piece of vinyl. Again, just smooth the tape onto your vinyl using the red squeegee tool. Flip it over and peel the backing paper away. Grab your second screen and place the sticky side on the back of the frame. Smooth it out and remove the transfer tape. You're going to notice that there are areas of open screen above and below the vinyl. We don't want ink to go through these open areas, so I'm going to use painter's tape to cover those up. I'm going to do the same with the other screen too. Now that our screens are ready to go, let's get the ink ready. Included in the deluxe vinyl kit, you will find yellow, blue, red, and white ink. You will also get this ink recipe guide. For this project, I'm going to mix two custom colors. Using the guide to make the peach color first, I'm going to use the syringe to measure the ink according to the ink recipe guide proportion. I've got red, yellow, and adding in white. Mix this up using the craft stick. You want to mix it really well until all of the colors are completely combined, even along the sides of your jar and on your stick. We now have a really nice peach color for this project. Next, I'm going to also make the color I call salt water using yellow, blue, 
and white. Again, stirring this until it's completely incorporated. The recipes are all done in proportions, so you can make a large or small batch depending on how many shirts you want to make. Now we have a beautiful saltwater ink as our second color for this project. I've got my t-shirt blank spread out on my table and I'm going to place this sheet of parchment paper inside the shirt. This is going to catch any ink that might go through so it doesn't get on the back of your shirt. I'm going to place the choose to shine screen on the shirt first. This is going to be the peach color. Eyeball the screen to make sure it's centered on the shirt and in the spot where you want it to print. Now this is an important step. We want to be able to print the registration boxes in the corner of our design to help us line up our two screens, but we don't want that ink to get on our shirt. I'm going to place small pieces of painter's tape in the spots on the shirt where these boxes fall. Lift the screen from one side. I'm keeping the left edge of my screen in place so I don't lose the position of my screen on my shirt. And place the tape on the shirt and lower your screen back down to make sure it's in the right spot. You might need to adjust the tape until it's directly under the boxes. Look through the screen carefully to make sure that you're only seeing tape and none of the shirt is showing through. Now we are ready to screen print the first color. Scoop out a generous amount of the peach ink along the top of your screen. Don't worry about using too much ink here. It's always better to have a little more ink than not enough. You can always scoop up the excess ink and save it at the end. With your wood squeegee held at about a 60 degree angle, push hard as you squeegee over your design. I'm putting a good amount of pressure on the squeegee so the ink will be pressed through the screen onto my shirt. Repeat the squeegee in the same direction two to three times. Then lift your screen to reveal the first color. If you want to make multiple shirts, you would repeat this process to print the peach ink on all of your shirts now. You want the first color to be dry to the touch before you print the second color. You can allow the ink to air dry for about 30 minutes, or if you have a heat gun or hair dryer, you can speed up your drying time. With the second screen, we are going to use the registration boxes in the vinyl to line up with the boxes we printed with the peach ink. Adjust your screen until all four boxes are lined up. Look through each of the boxes on your screen to make sure it's matching up with the peach box underneath. Now I'm going to cover up these boxes with pieces of painter's tape. This is important if you're making more than one shirt. You need to be able to see through these boxes each time you line up the screen. So with the tape on the top, you can peel it off to see through the boxes for each additional shirt. Now as I place the saltwater ink along the top, we don't have to worry about it covering up our registration boxes. Again, you want to use a good amount of ink along the top. Grab your wood squeegee and press hard as you pull the squeegee over the design. Remember to use even, firm pressure on your squeegee. Repeat this two to three times to make sure you have enough ink covering your design. Lift your screen and you have printed a two color design. You can now remove the tape and your shirt is all done. If you're printing more shirts, you want to work quickly to print the salt water color on the rest of your shirts. This ink can dry in the screen, so you want to work quickly once you have ink on your screen. Once you're done printing, peel off the vinyl from your screens and take it to the sink to wash. You want to wash the ink off as soon as you're done. This will make it easier to get the ink out so you can reuse the screens for more projects. The speedball ink we are using is water-based ink. You need to allow this ink to dry completely before doing the final step of curing with heat. You can leave your shirt to air dry for two to three days, or you can use a fan or a heat gun to speed up the drying. The final step to make your ink permanent on your shirt is to heat set it. For this step, you can use a heat press or an iron. For a heat press, set it to 320 degrees and go for 40 seconds. With an iron, just move it over your entire design for two to three minutes. And just like that, you can make multicolor shirts, bags, and so much more right from home. 
Be sure to grab this deluxe kit and get ready to have fun with screen printing. If you have any questions about this process, leave a comment below. If you would like to see more about screen printing with vinyl, be sure to hit subscribe.